going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is my plant honey. We got platins today. Everyone's everybody's favorite platins. Well, a little controversial these days, but for the most part, people love it. Uh, Blattens bourbon and uh, I got my hands on some pretty good dessert. Uh, we got roll cake from Paris Baguette and cream puffs as well. So we'll try those two out. We'll see how it goes and share my thoughts at the end. So, all right, let's get started. First with the Blattens. What can I say about Blattens? Here we go. It's the one that everyone wants, right? It's sort of like the gateway bourbon for a lot of the folks who are sort of getting into bourbon um, and want to try some of the more, let's say, allocated or more sought after bourbons. I think this is, I would say, one of the ones that um, people look after or go after, seek after. Um, so let's pour this guy out. This one is, I think, 90. 93 proof, 90, 93 proof, 46.5 alcohol. So it's not too, it's not too heavy. Um, it's right at where most people would enjoy drinking, like easy drinking. All right, a couple things about Blanton's, real fast. Um, the bottle itself is just pretty, right? It's unique in its bottle. It's not the usual long, you know, bottle with the long neck. Um, has sort of like a ball shape, like a spherical shape. Some people say grenade shape. Um, and has a fancy writing over here. And it shows you what um, what the whiskey was bottled, when the whiskey was bottled, and what barrel number it was. So let me read out this one. This bourbon whiskey dumped on 8-19-22 from barrel number 2158. Um, stored in warehouse number oh my, six, 16 on rig number 29. Um, individually selected, filtered, and bottled by hand at 93 proof. So, so there you have it. Um, it says, we believe this is the finest bottled whiskey ever produced, affording you extra flavor, bouquet, and character. So it says, I mean, it says on the bottle that it's the best one. So it better be the best one. Um, Let's go for the nose. <laughs> Just a standard bourbon scent. Uh, caramel, sugars, vanilla, tiny bit of like a nuttiness, maybe like a peanut almond nuttiness, but a very tiny bit. Nothing, nothing spiking or nothing out of the ordinary or nothing like you know, burning your nose or anything like that. Very um, very middle of the road on all the scents. Um, I mean, I, I've had this plenty of times before and I know sort of what to expect when I drink it, but, um, you know, people like this stuff, not because I don't think it's very complex or it's, you know, it's out of nowhere, you know, extraordinary in so many fronts. It's not like that. Uh, and then if you go into, um, trying this out for the first time with that kind of expectation i think you're gonna be disappointed but if you go into uh, to if you go into it thinking it's gonna be a good bourbon it won't be disappointing uh it will have a classic bourbon characteristics like sweet a um, little bit nutty a uh, little bit oaky at the end and just dare i say smooth um, then it'll be just exactly what you expected i think so let's taste it and see how it tastes. Cheers. This dessert, this dessert. Every time I have this, this, this dessert. Um, right away, vanilla, a lot of caramel. Some maple syrup, honey notes in there. Uh, very sweet. Uh, one of the sweeter bourbons out there. Let's try it again. And very gentle. And very gentle in its delivery. It's not a it's not a strong alcohol content whiskey by any means. So it won't shock you 
or it won't it won't like you know have a very thick mouthfeel at all but at the same time it doesn't disappoint it's very medium on everything it has a medium uh you know mouthfeel it has a medium finish uh, it has a medium oakiness uh, very sweet though so um let me try to detect any i don't i don't i don't uh taste any fruity notes but let me try again sometimes i do sometimes i don't It's pretty rich, but it doesn't last long in the on the palate, and it doesn't. It sort of stops right here uh, when it, when you when you take a gulp, when you take a sip, and then um, the journey ends here. So, which isn't a bad thing. You expect that from a you know ninety proof fish, mm -hmm. right? What's the proof? Ninety three proof. It exactly tastes and, and you know behaves like a ninety three proof. And it's delicious. I have no problems about it. Uh, people love this stuff because it is good and it doesn't shock you. It's very gentle and smooth on its delivery. And I think that's why people love it. And, and the packaging too. Packaging is very unique. Now that I talked enough about the bourbon, let's try out some of this um, dessert. Okay, let me open it. Half is a strawberry um, flavor, and the other half is a is a chocolate. So we'll try a slice of both. I think I'll try the chocolate one out first. I think it'll go better with that bourbon. Very moist, very thick. I thought it would be more light, but I guess I was wrong. There's something crunchy in the middle too, like a, a crispy, crispy bits. Mm. Alright, let's try out the bourbon a little bit. Cheers. Very good, very good. The, the kick just melts in the mouth and spreads it all over my palate and my upper and lower part of my mouth. And then the way the bourbon coats it as it goes down, it, the chocolatiness, the creaminess, and with the bourbon it sort of combines it and, and goes down together. It's delicious. I think if I pick like a more stronger bourbon or stronger whiskey. Like, I don't know, like 100 some proof or, or something that's more oaky, I don't think it would have been good. I think something that's a little bit on the lighter side with, with sweeter profile, um, I think that's a good call to go along with this. Very good. Now the strawberries. Let's buy itself first. That was good too. Has um, like a strawberry flavor kick and then has like a strawberry jam around the white cream in the middle. Pretty good. Right. I think the chocolate is the winner, but Let's try the strawberry out anyway. That's good. Chocolate's better. I really like the chocolate, the, the crunchy, I don't know what it is. It's like crunchy bits, crunchy pieces, crunchy chocolate pieces, I don't know. That that one's a that one's a winner. It has a crunchiness when you when you sort of chew on it, and then it spreads the chocolateiness all over your palate. Absolutely yummy. 
Alright. Still good though. I'm not gonna let it go away. I don't know if I should do a one shot on the cream puff or, you know, split into two bites. Because if I bite it, I feel like the cream will spurt out, which I don't want. So I'm gonna try to eat it in one bite. So I think that's a better idea. Here it goes. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't squirt out everywhere here, but it exploded in my mouth. Mm. Unexpected, but that's good. Cake's better. The cream puff, uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Oh, a little bit left, here we go. That's all I have for you today. Again, I wanted to have a good drink before I go to bed, something sweet, something enjoyable, and I thought I'd try our Blanton's with some roll cake and some cream puff, and I had a great time. It was really good. If you got a chance to pick up some, some desserts, it doesn't have to be roll cake, it could be a, any other cake. Uh, try it out with some Blanton's, and I think you might find yourself having a good night like me. So, <sighs> that's all I have for you today. Thanks again. Uh, if you get a chance, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for me. Um, it would help the channel a lot. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, let me know at the bottom. And uh, I'll try to go through them as much as I can. So, again, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Have a good night. And I'll talk to you on the next episode. See ya.